In this video, I want to show you how to add staff members or team members to your Go High Level account. This is really important, especially also if you are the agency owner. Um, when you, you are the agency owner, if you buy a, an account and you whatever email you signed up with is your agency email. But you're going to want to add yourself also as a user or another admin uh, with a different email. And you can actually switch in, uh, into different e different users or different team members if you're the agency uh, owner. Uh, this also will help you when you are setting up your su sub account so you want to make sure to do this. Um, you're going to go to settings at the bottom left hand corner and you're going to go to team and also if you are a white label um, and you have people signed up into your account you're going to automatically see everyone under the team section that doesn't mean everyone has access to everything in your in your account uh, but this is where you're going to want to add employees from the agency level you can come in here and um, and start uh, adding a team member right here let me make it unblurry here so you can actually go to the team add a new member employee and start adding their name and email address right in in here and then also you could also it automatically will send them a link to create their password but you can also even create a, a username or a password right there um, you want to click on roles and permission and set up the user type so if you are giving someone access to your entire agency like all the sub accounts your whole account that would be an agency type an admin role if you are only going to be giving them an account access to a specific sub account, you can grab one of the, the sub accounts and you can sign them up here. Also, you can create staff members inside of the sub account itself. So instead of doing it here where I, w I started off in the agency level and went into settings and then team, I'm manually cr adding a team member. Typically, I would add a team member for myself here as an agency owner and use this permissions you can turn on and off the permissions and add what sub accounts if I was putting a staff member for myself or my agency I can have certain accounts that they um, are able to um, get access to or restrict access to selected sub accounts but I actually um, have my staff being able to, to to handle any account that's in here so let me go into a sub account and show you an example as well as how to how to add staff members there and then same thing in here, you can turn on and off certain permissions for all different types of features. So I'm in one of my demo accounts, same thing, you're going to go to settings on the bottom left hand corner, you're going to go to team, let's see, I'm actually my staff. So when you're in a sub account, you actually, it's called my staff instead of team. So under my staff is where you go in and click on add employee and then enter their name and email address or phone number. Um, in the beginning, you may actually not have, you know, the calendar is set up and everything. So everything is going to be like blank. Then once they, uh, you just put in their name, email address and phone number and, and save it, they'll get access, you know, they'll get an e automated email system email. Uh, to create their password and they can come in and, and edit these these things here so when they come they get their own account they're going to be able to update their signature and um, you would also want to set up their roles and permissions here um, let's see here yeah so that you can basically go let me move my picture out of the way go in through all these different sections and features and turn them on and off this is also another good one that I shared in another video. Once you get a phone number, you want to select the phone number and connect it to that person's phone number here. They can customize everything in here. Um, they can create a voicemail. So if people call their phone number, their, a voicemail will show up there. Um, their user availability, they can set their availability and time here for their calendar, uh, calendar configuration. There's actually several different places where this calendar configuration um, and your, their Zoom connection, they can connect their Zoom right here. Um, you can actually go into my profile and uh, basically go ahead and um, 
make sure that their email is synced, their calendar settings are synced in here, their video conferencing, Zoom, Google Meet is connected here as well as their user availability ability down here. I'll go into more of setting up the calendar and user availability in the calendar section of the modules. But if you have any questions about adding a staff member, turning on and off uh, the features, let me know. But it's pretty straightforward. Just head over to team or my staff in the sub accounts. All right. Thanks for watching. Set up your next, your homework is to add yourself with a different email in there. Or if you have a assistant or other team member, go ahead and add your staff into your account right now. Thanks for watching.